did not ask to speak. Uh, just before the meeting ended, one of the facilitators came over and asked me if I'd say a few words, and I said, sure. Uh, but that's, I just want to be here. I'm one of millions. And um, I, um, um, I, like, I come to these meetings. I come to the GAs. I'm a participant. I don't just show up. Um, um, I don't have a camera with me. I don't. I'm just here as a citizen, just like you are. And we're all in this together. And uh, so uh, this, this man asked me to, to, to say a few words. So I said, yes, I would, but I, I didn't come here for that. Um, so I hope you know that. I, I, um, just, <laughs> well, because I think it's very, I think the beauty of this movement is that it doesn't have a spokesperson or a leader, and they keep asking who's the leader and who's the spokesperson. My answer always is there's 10 million leaders and 10 million spokespeople because uh, millions of people in this country have a story to tell. Everybody in this room has a story to tell. And everybody is a spokesperson for this movement. Everybody watching this on the live stream right now, you're a spokesperson for the Occupy movement. Um, and I, I, I've been working on these issues about Wall Street and the banks and corporate America for over two decades. Um, so this is not this is not uh, this is not playtime for me. This uh, this movement is the most important thing that's happened uh, in our lifetime. And mm -hmm. it is because all the various evils in our system, all the spokes, all come to this one hub of those who control this country and the world and have wrecked it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been traveling the country in the last few months. I've been to probably two dozen occupies around the country, every place from um, uh, Seattle and Portland and Vancouver, up that way to the smallest uh, towns um, in Nevada City, uh, Nevada City, California. There's 400 people there in this little tiny mountain town. Um, that's the way it is all over the country. I think you know that, right? It's, mm -hmm. This is spread like wildfire. And, and, and that Every poll shows that the majority of Americans agree with the principles of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Every single poll shows that either a majority support Occupy Wall Street or support the principles of it. That's amazing for a movement that is 15 weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> Responsible for the crash to be put in jail. 
<laughs> they want the regulations put back. They want the money out of politics. They, you go down the whole list. Uh, they want their planet to be here for their grandchildren. They, they, they are tired of the bigotry and the racism and the homophobia. And that's, the, that's the country we live in. It's a majority movement. And the hardest part of any political movement is to try and convince those who disagree with us to please think about agreeing with the things that we stand for. We don't have to do the hardest part. The American people are already with us. So now, I can tell you, because they watch these meetings on live stream, I've, 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 I've had this privilege. Not many people can say they've been to two dozen Occupy uh, sites around the country. So I've seen this firsthand. And um, I, want, I want you to know here in New York City, uh, because you were the spark of this, um, that the rest of the country is really looking in at these meetings, at the GAs, at the spokes councils. Please know that, that, that this is, that people are desperate for your direction, our direction, support, ideas, action, action, action. A little bit of talk. Action. <laughs> little bit of talk. Action. I mean, for 400 people, 400 people in Fayetteville, Arkansas, in occupied Fayetteville. Walmartville. <laughs> Walmartville. Um, they, they, they are. It came from here. They don't consider this the Vatican, but they do. They do. They are counting on us here to get this thing into 2012 and keep doing what we've done to already get so many of the majority of Americans with us. And, and they want the next steps. Now, I know some of them, especially people my age and older, are saying, oh, you know, we got to get down to the list of demands and we got to get down to, you know, these things. And, yes, I think that's important. I'm on the demands uh, working group. <laughs> you want me. I just go and I go to the, the vision and, and goals group. Um, but let me say this, that uh, especially to the younger people here, the process is every bit as important as these demands right now. And you have to know that it's your process that you created here. It's why it spread. If you had done it the old traditional way, with your one leader, with your that spokesperson, that and, and, and done it in this rigid sort of way, it wouldn't have spread like it spread. But because everybody from Fayetteville to Nevada City believes that they can be occupiers too, and they're automatically part of this movement, not by signing a card, paying dues, uh, going to the weekly meetings or whatever. They could actually just say, I am part of the Occupy movement by saying, I am part of the Occupy movement. At that moment you say it, you're in it. And, yeah. and I love, yeah. I know, you know, some people said to me tonight, oh, Mike, I'm sorry I have to see all, you know, I was here at the meeting a couple weeks ago with the sign and, and all the craziness, and, and, but, you know, it's okay. This is, this is in its infancy, and there's these growing pains. The growing pains are okay. Don't, everybody stick with it. Don't drop out. Don't say, I can't take this anymore. Ah, this is crazy. You know, you <laughs> It's, we're, we're a little baby right now. We can barely talk. You know? So. Right, exactly. So, so, so don't be too hard on yourselves. Keep this process going. It's egalitarian consensus process. Um, uh, just be kind uh, to each other. Because we have all um, suffered uh, through so much in these last few decades, and especially the last decade, where we've conducted a war upon the world, and where so many of our fellow citizens, the fact that we now live in a country where half of the population either lives in poverty or 
or a paycheck away from poverty. This is absolutely disgraceful. It's why we're a majority movement. And when people ask me who started this, who started this movement? Ah, oh, was that magazine in Vancouver? <laughs> no, it wasn't magazine in Vancouver. <laughs> they ran a full page ad. <laughs> and they told us to have one demand. And that was supposed to be it. No, no, who started this movement are the people at Goldman Sachs and Citibank and Bank of America and BP and ExxonMobil. They put their boot on the necks of the American people for just a month or two too long. If they could have just gone halfway greedy or 70% greedy and stopped a year or two ago, this may not have happened, but they couldn't. They had to have more and more and more and more. And, and the American public has just said, enough. And we are part of this movement. We believe in this movement. And it is to everyone's credit in here to, for having helped make this happen. And um, let's push into 2012 with action. This movement built because of the brave actions you took on the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, by, by Union Square, um, you know all the the, the the police and the mayor. And by the way, whoever the whoever the undercover NYPD person is here tonight. I just want to I just want to say welcome. <laughs> you were part of the 99 percent. My my guess is they rotate you guys because. If, if you sat here for too long and too many weeks, you would start to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so welcome, NYPD undercover person. Um, but, um, but uh, the mayor doesn't get it. No. Wall Street doesn't get it. They're so deaf to what really is happening, and they think this is going to fall apart in the winter. Oh, and, oh. Uh, The human, the human population. History is full of examples, from Leningrad to Valley Forge to uh, the people who took over the factories in Flint, Michigan, 75 years ago this week. They occupied the factories for 44 days in the dead of winter, and they created the modern-day union movement. 75 years ago this week it started. My uncle was in that sit-down strike. He sat in there for 44 days. He was one of the first occupiers. Yeah. So, the winter? No. What has been done to this planet and to the people on it? It's far worse than any snow or coal or sleet. And this movement isn't going to stop. It has to continue with action through the winter. And, and we're always one or two feet ahead of these guys anyways. And um, I just want to encourage that in these meetings and at the GA that we try to, everybody here, try to become part of the whole. That when we walk through that door, we are no longer just me, myself, and I. It's important that we never lose our individuality, that we respect every single person in here, even if there's a lone voice. But at some, but at some point for this to succeed, we have to realize that we're doing this as a whole and to try and check those parts of us that are um, in need. And these meetings aren't really for that. Um, that's my personal opinion from, from what I've seen. So please don't take that to mean that um, people, anybody here shouldn't participate or say anything or whatever. But I'm just saying that if you're watching this now, you're watching, people are watching this across the country. They want, they want to know, well, I just watched this for three hours. What are we going to do? What are we doing this week? What are we doing next week? What are we doing the weekend? They want to know. They know what they're doing locally, we're but they want to feel part of the whole group. on Martin Luther King Day. We're, they want to feel part of the whole group. Yes, so tonight, candlelight vigil on Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Day. Candlelight vigil on Martin Luther King Day, 2 p.m. I'm just uh, You can't come to Mayor Bloomberg's house if you live in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the vigil, the candlelight vigil is worldwide. Yeah. So, candlelight you know, vigil is worldwide. I, honestly, God, I did not come here to say a word. You see me here. I sit here quietly. 
I just want to be one of the whole. My name is Finn Jaffe, and I'd like to welcome you to Occupy Wall Street. Well, and, and I and I and I would like to welcome I would like to welcome you because after, after 20 years of doing this pretty much alone, at great uh, personal risk to myself, uh, things that you know I don't really discuss in public a whole lot. Uh, I, you, I can't tell you how much you have made me feel uh, so alive and so good, and that those 20 years was worth it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, all of you. Thanks.